What is up, everybody? Something a little bit different today. Ophelia Thanatos, we are going to react to the trailer that Dislight put out on YouTube. If you're unfamiliar with my channel anyway, I have just started playing Dislight about a week ago and have really enjoyed it. We have a new update coming next week. This is one of the new characters. So for something fun, something different to do, I am going to react and check out Thanatos, which I personally am really excited about. Uh, if you don't know who Thanatos is, typically it's a male Greek god, like the goddess uh, or the god of death, almost like a modern day Grim Reaper. Um, Kind of like the backstory, I guess, but uh, I am a little bit interested, at least as far in this game goes. I have noticed that some of the gods that are typically male, they have made female, and this is another one. Kit looks really nice, and as far as I know, I'm not for sure, like obviously I've only been playing a week, I don't know everything about the game, I'm still learning a ton. But I think this is going in the same spot that Zora is in, correct? And it takes like 400 some odd pulls in order for you to be able to pull this tune or pull this Esper. And uh, which seems like a lot, but even if it is just 1%, I honestly don't mind because I play other games very similar to this. One of those being Marvel Strike Force, and I could tell you at least at the start of it, Marvel Strike Force is way worse than this game uh, when it comes to that sort of thing being able to try to get good things for free to play players either way though let me know what you think about this character and are you excited about it now when the new update comes i should have saved up approximately hopefully 50 or 60 records i think like something like that i think that's what you call them records right i've saved those up and we're gonna do a video in which we open them trying to pull thanatos I'm not sure if it's a shimmer because I believe that when I saw it was a shimmer and then it said wind on the website. Really confused. Either way though, uh, let's get into the trailer. Now this did come out yesterday, so I'm sure many of you had probably seen this, but I just recently, last night, this morning, last night, started following their Twitter page. So uh, I've been, you know, getting some news on new things that are coming to the game. We got the update coming. I'm learning a lot, having fun playing the game so much. And so, yeah, that's why we're going to do something a little bit different. I'm excited for this. Um, obviously, the historical accuracy and mythological accuracy is not necessarily there because it's a female instead of a male. Uh, she looks way better than obviously the Grim Reaper, you know. So, I don't know. I'm just interested. But other than that, like the sickle and stuff looks amazing. Let's check it out. I want to see her abilities. Let's see her animations. Um, I saw this on the first Esper they released. I did watch the first one. And uh, it did say Shimmer, right? Her art is amazing. These videos are amazing. Yo, these animations are so good. It does go by a little quick. I like the... I, is it called a sickle? Is that what it is? But, uh... Death is a silent dance. Okay. Single attack. Her second ability. Okay. Do we get to see the animations? In, okay. Never mind. Scythe. That's what it's called. The Reaper's... Scythe. Yeah, that's cool. Uh, these are short. These are definitely short, um, but I really like them. I mean, the art team, uh, the animation team, who, whatever they are called, uh, they put together absolutely fantastic visual arts when it comes to this stuff. So let's go by, let's go back to the beginning, and I want to look at a couple things and read a couple things because... Um, we didn't get the chance to go through it because it looks too, it goes by too quick. And I just want to pause it and look at the rest of it. But as far as her outfit goes, uh, it looks really good. This scythe looks awesome. Uh, I did read the backstory, I think on Twitter, and it said that um, she was in the union, former leader of the union, right? And then she left and then joined the Shadow Decree. 
And uh, after that, she kind of just, I don't know, either disappeared or or something about her not caring about anything too much. And, you know, Thanatos in mythology, you know, he is, I don't know if he's the necessarily the one that brings you from, you know, Earth to the underworld or not. But either way, he's like the personification of death, like the Grim Reaper is. She doesn't look like the Grim Reaper, not in the least bit. So, uh, but anyway, her outfit is amazing. Looks really good. Her scythe looks really good. Um, let's look at our abilities again. Be at peace. Do not despair. Smile at me for the Reaper in here. Oh, those look really good. Okay, so uh, first ability, we got Elegant Strike, attacks one enemy best based on own attack, inflicts bleed. All right, nothing too crazy, I don't think. Um, having something like, you know, I'm still learning the gear sets and stuff, so obviously, you know, I'm no expert on any of this stuff. Oh, she is wind. Here it is. Okay, she is wind. You know what? This X right here, I was thinking was the Shimmer. Where it's the X next to the Legendary. I was thinking it was the Shimmer, but that's just Legendary. So here is the Wind symbol, though. So she, I guess she is Wind. But uh, something like, you know, anything with counterattack. Uh, afflict multiple bleeds. I like that sort of stuff. Okay. Second ability, we got Heartless Reaper. Attacks one enemy based on own attack. Each debuff... The target has and each debuff or self in wait has and each buff of self increases damage by a certain percentage. So however many buffs she has, how many debuffs they have increase damage. The bonus damage has an upper limit. Heals based on damage dealt gains extra turn after killing target. Okay, so uh, kind of like Artemis. Right with her basic attack, she kills the target. She gets 100% turn meter. There are a couple other ones that obviously do that. I don't have every character unlocked by any means, but there's just ones that I've noticed. All right, so we got the the Heartless Reaper, and then we got Butterfly Dreams. Okay, Butterfly Dreams attacks one enemy subject of own attack based on the total number of own buffs and the enemy's debuffs. Cast Elegant Strike, which is the one that does uh, the basic attack, right? And performs several pursuit attacks. If the enemy dies during the pursuit attack, continues to attack another enemy, and the enemy and the number of attacks has an upper limit. Pursuit damage on the same target gradually weakens after each hit. So uh, you get a bunch of enemies that are really low. If you use Butterfly Dreams and then she casts Elegant Strike, kills the target, moves to another target, kills that target with Elegant Strike, moves to another target, kills that target with Elegant Strike. That'd be pretty cool, you know, once they get the, the if you get all the health down. And then we got the Ascension, attacks one enemy subject on attack, casts Elegant Strike, several pursuits. Enemy dies, continues, number of attack has upper limit, pursuit damage on same target gradually weakens, inflicts defense down on each enemy on the first hit. You can't escape the I wonder if that buff side. or debuff applies before the hit or after. That's a cool looking animation. Anyways, that is going to do it for the video. Ophelia, Danatos dislight coming next week i think it's tuesday or wednesday i uh, thought it'd be kind of fun to do something like this since we have been streaming dislight uh over on the channel so if you're interested in checking out some streams of a new player brand new well only been playing a week still learning a lot having a lot of fun though streams are a lot of fun come check it out uh hit the subscribe button be able to you know be sure you turn on notifications 
That way you know when we go live. We have been streaming. You know, we've had three or four streams so far. Certainly been a lot of fun. But uh, let me know what you think about this character and the other two that are coming to the game. Expect to see more videos, more streams coming soon, especially when the new update comes with all the game modes and other things that they got. I wanted to do this one because this one uh, kind of appealed to me the most because it's Thanatos. I like, I love mythology. One of the old games I used to play all the time was Smite, and I used to play that a lot. And they have, uh, you know, it's a, a game that is full of gods. And so, um, I don't know, I guess you learn a lot through that game, too. Either way, though, I will see you all next time. Y'all take it easy. Let me know in the comments what you think. And hopefully we see you again soon. Y'all take it easy. We're out. Peace.